Thursday, March 2. Overcoming Covetousness Covetousness is a matter of the heart and, like pride and selfishness, often goes unnoticed, which is why it can be so deadly and deceiving. It's hard enough overcoming sins that are obvious, lying, adultery, stealing, idolatry, Sabbath-breaking, but these are outward acts, things that we have to think about before we do them. But to overcome wrong thoughts themselves? That gets tough. Read 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13. What promise is given here, and why is this so important to understand in the context of covetousness? 1 Corinthians 10.13 No temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able, but with the temptation will also make the way of escape, that you may be able to bear it. How then, in God's power, can we be protected against this dangerously deceptive sin? 1. Make a decision to serve and depend on God and to be part of his family, as we read in Joshua 24.15. Choose you this day whom you will serve, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. 2. Be daily in prayer, and include Matthew 6.13. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever. When feeling covetous of something that you know you should not have, pray over it, claiming promises in the Bible for victory, such as 1 Corinthians 10.13, which we've just read, but let's do it again. No temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man, but God is faithful who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able, but with the temptation will also make the way of escape, that you may be able to bear it. 3. Be regular in Bible study. Psalm 119 verse 11 reads, Your word I have hidden in my heart, that I might not sin against you. Jesus tackled the human sin problem. He was tempted on every point that we are tempted on, and for power to resist, he spent whole nights in prayerful communion with his Father. And Jesus didn't leave this earth until he had both forged the way by example and then promised power to make it possible for every person to live a life of faith and obedience, to develop a Christ-like character. Isaiah 55 verses 6 and 7 reads, Seek the Lord while he may be found, call upon him while he is near, let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord, and he will have mercy on him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. And so to finish the day, what, if any, have been the consequences in your own life from covetousness? What lessons have you learned? What might you still need to learn from them? This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind. Sponsored by the Sabbath School Department and distributed through Hope Channel Australia, this podcast is also redistributed by Hope Channel Germany, Christian Record Services for the Blind. It is also available on SoundCloud and through multiple podcast distributors, including Apple iTunes. And you can listen and watch at the same time on YouTube. Remember... God is always faithful. And here is a disclaimer. Contents of these lessons are not intended to be financial advice, but is general commentary based on biblical principles. The reader is encouraged to seek competent professional advice which will suit their particular personal situation.